agreed on. So I don't, I don't remember. <coughs> the, the old target was like 1.4 million, mm -hmm. somewhere in that area. And what we talked about was, we're never going to save 1.4 million at at 35,000 a year. Um, so we're almost surely going to bond that, but we should be earmarking some sort of money for whether we're in this building or down payment on a new building. Um, so that's why that line was adjusted. The target was adjusted to 460. Um, So at ten years, that would be that would be fully funded at four sixty if we followed this plan. Um, uh, police vehicle replacement thirty five thousand, which is um, for a lease, another lease. Is that it's one brand new lease vehicle, but fully equipped. next year, and then. You know, possibly the year after. Yes. So you know. Two more years, because we got one this year. I thought it was right. this year and next year. And then twenty one, we're putting some money aside, but not buying one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. But but what I meant, I'm sorry, is possibly leasing the following one. Whether oh, or not oh, to oh, continue leasing. with leasing programs versus going back to purchasing gotcha. them outright. Okay. Right. So this reflects continuing to lease. Okay. Um, digital fingerprint system um, setting aside ten thousand with a target date of twenty twenty one, so that would be fully funded um, by the time we're ready to expand. Um, the message board is back on here. He brought it up again, but it was less of a. It wasn't the okay. So primary priority. Yeah. Okay. That I, I remember now. Um, so starting to set aside money for a message board, um, I'm sure by then we we won't have matching funds. But um, the extraction equipment was a surprise. So fire department line number priority one. Um, so we shifted some other money around to be able to expend 30000 next year for this because it's really a need and we haven't had time to save for that but it's become an emerging need there. Um, the forestry vehicle uh, said it's down 9200 which would, be, would fully fund um, the purchase next year uh, for 55000 and then air pack filling stations we moved out another year at, at the fire department's uh, request. Um, so we'd set aside. This doesn't make sense. Because You're we right, said. Because it looks like a 2023 20, purchase year. They don't agree. Yeah, they don't agree. So we need. But we're not, we're not doing anything with it next year. We just need to fix the spreadsheet. Um, that's. Uh, so. Yeah, ten thousand. Uh, so line number ten, we would set aside ten thousand to replace um, the twenty eighteen. So the fire truck we just bought um, last year. Start saving again to replace that, um, since that will be several hundred thousand dollars. Um, and that's that doesn't have a target here until twenty thirty five. So. We, Time is on our side there. Um, on the next page, um, this is also an, an opportunity for discussion. The highway department um, articulating loader. Um, the committee is, we did recommend um, buying this piece of equipment next year. So setting aside thirty five six ninety five and expending eighty five six ninety five, um, I think that could probably be pushed out another year to give us time to build that fund up a little more. Um, and then 
and setting aside money for a mini excavator and a roof replacement at the highway department, uh, 16000 12000 <coughs> So that's a total of 186895 uh, But then a couple of other things came on the radar. Um, the generator for Town Hall. Um, it's in the second one under the first section, um, and it's listed as sixty-five thousand dollars, but it doesn't seem as though it'll cost me any of that. That's on this sheet. It's on. It's it's not on that sheet. It's on the CIP sheet. It's the second listed item on the CIP sheet. Oh, okay. Um, I see. Okay. Um, so we don't think that's the right price tag. Um, but given, it's, I would suggest thirty. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would suggest moving that up um, mm -hmm. because of the emerging issue we have had with it. Can I ask a question mm -hmm. on number one priority, town hall boiler? It's all zeroed across. Well, right, but so. We haven't taken the money out of the CIP fund, actually. We so this is a so worksheet. That, what, that what makes it go to zero. It's money. So so it's not to be voted on because it's already been voted on. If Got you it. don't do it in 2020, mm -hmm. then it's going to go back on the CIP, or or I would suggest you put it back on the CIP for continued evaluation thereafter. But it's it's not listed at all because in theory it may. Or, that's why there's a question mark in the purchase target here because mm -hmm. it's been authorized. Right, through a warrant. Correct. So a warrant, and we can lapse it another year. Right. So, but the money doesn't show in there until you spend it. It just shows until you've been authorized to buy it through a warrant. And well, then it goes zero afterwards. This, this can work however you want it to okay. work. But that's what it's currently really reflecting okay. is that it's zeroed out because it's been authorized. So it's kind yeah. of, yeah. it's now in your, not exactly in your operating budget, but it's not really a planning tool anymore because yeah. it's already been authorized. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Um, so, yeah. I, in my mind, so so adding another, like, if we if we put a generator on a warrant and added thirty thousand, um, and then move the articulating motor out. A year. Um, that makes sense to me. In an effort to keep this this bottom number somewhat stable. Mm -hmm. I think I'm in agreement with that as well. I think that um, a generator is definitely needed. If it goes, we're in trouble, um, and we have to get it regardless. Where um, I'm not really convinced 100% that the articulating loader is something that um, we don't already have something in house that we can do the job. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's easier. Maybe it does other things. But I think before we make that purchase, I want to. I know that we have another means of doing it another way. Right. It's, it's Where a generator, we don't. Right. Yep. No, <laughs> so that's my feeling. So I would I would support that uh, suggestion. I mean, how functionally, how does this work? Because there must be some sort of investment happening, right? The That's the very bottom, bottom line of the whole thing. That's how much money you're allocating um, per year. The very bottom row. So yes, that's how much per year you're putting into this fund. I mean, is the fund invested anywhere? Like bonds or anything? It, it's, there's a, I, I can't really speak to that. It's under the purview of the trustees of the trust funds, but it can't be managed. It does have different rules about it so that you can't have it just in a checking account. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that you can put it in bonds. There are different rules about what you can do with it that is different from the operating budget and, the, and what falls under okay. the purview of the select board. So I, I, I can't speak further to how it's held. So we technically write a check and give it to the trustees so the trust fund for them to do whatever they do with it and invest it. It doesn't, yes. it doesn't stay here with us. Correct. It goes to them. They're yes. In but considering that all the in CIP reserve funds are nice round dollars, they probably don't invest it anywhere. 
Well, unless well, this I think is going to make some interest reflecting what we've actually put in in cash. Yeah. So, so sort of. So, um, the chart shows what we're going to put away every year. Um, but then way over on the right hand column, there's the what's in CIP already, mm -hmm. and those are also round numbers, um, more or less. But separately, we do have the balances of the trust funds, and every year there's $412.39 of interest or, or, or something mm -hmm. like that that needs to get dispersed somehow into this fund. So um, you kind of have two projects before you tonight with regard to CIP. What are you going to fund? What are you going to put on the warrant? What are you going to propose to purchase? How much money from CIP are you going to propose to support that purchase with? Um, and then how much money are you going to propose to put into the CIP fund? So, which may or may not reflect revising the whole 10-year plan. You know, you, Ultimately, you ought to revise the whole 10-year plan so that the board is in, in agreement that at this point in time, not only are these the things we're purchasing this year, but also this is how much money we're putting away for these specific things this year, and what the balances are for these things, understanding full well that next year this or a different board may come to a completely different determination. Mm -hmm. Or other things will pop up. Right. right. True. Always something comes up. Right. That's new. Um, Um, so, um, do we want to do a motion about deferring the um, articulator, mo um, articulator, what is it called? Articulator voter, at least for another year, um, and putting the funds that were allocated for that purchase to the generator. That won't get us enough money. No. Well, according to the CIP, you've got 35 you're theoretically putting on the. Um, let me look at that well, they're saying it's 35, 35 695. That's right. what they were that, putting in, but there's, there's 50 already in the fund. Is right, right and that saying. was in order to fund the entire purchase mm -hmm. of it. So mm -hmm. you could put 30 toward the generator and then $695 still on this articulating motor. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So, but the generator was, oh, you're saying it's not going to be 65, it's going to be more like 30 It's going 30 to be more now. like 30. Okay. I would suggest a third. We only have one quote for it. Yeah. Um, I'm, um, the chief is still working on getting other quotes. Okay. So, but 30 would be sufficient. Okay. All right, that would, I would, I would make a motion that that's what we do, um, is to put 30 to the generator and remove it from the um, articulating loader and defer that for a year. So you're going to take 30 from the articulating loader mm -hmm. and add it to the Make it generator. to the generator. Um, does that leave any, 695. Five, 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 695. Five, 695. Oh, 5695. 5695 five, 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 in the loader still. Yeah. But it will revise all the other numbers. Um, or the, it will revise the purchasing year. Yeah. yeah. So, so is there a second? Uh, I'll second that. Okay. So then should we put 30 into 2021? Yep. Exactly. 30 here of the articulating motor. Oh, um. 2021 for that. To make up for the. Uh, yeah, we can, I suppose. We Can we do that on? Yeah. Yeah, we can, and they can always change it. Again, yeah. yeah. This is a, it's a <laughs> okay, plan. that's, yeah, it's a planning document. So yeah, we would put the 30 in 2021 that um, we took out. For the, all right, so. For the articulating made, loader. And you're putting 695 in this year, is that right? We're leaving the 695, uh, 5695. Okay. 5, 50, 50, 50, 50, oh, right. This yeah. year, we're taking the 30 from this year and putting it into the generator. And then you're putting 30 And then we're next year. authorizing, to, or um, yep. recommending to put 30 in, in 2021 that we took Got this it. year. Okay. So okay. For, uh, and what year, I'm sorry, what year were you putting it back? 2021. 2021, okay. All right, any discussion? No? All right, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, that one's done. What does everyone else think about any of the other items? 
for purchase was really the the most important is what so the police vehicle is not is they're recommending another purchase for the police vehicle vehicle. Um, and then the forestry. Yeah, so the current truck <clears throat> is a two thousand three that has needed all sorts of repairs. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark uh, reported that there's rust. Mm -hmm. so it, it, it's at the end of it's the an old, It's an old pickup. Uh, it's, it's an old yeah. pickup truck. It yeah. looks like it's in good shape, but it's yeah. um, it only has like 50,000 miles. Mm -hmm. but wow. Yeah. What kind of truck is it? It's a pickup <laughs> truck. You interested? Well, no, what kind of pickup truck? It's, like a, well, it's a regular pickup truck. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. wondering what's failed after 50,000 miles. Well, because they, they don't put a lot of miles on their vehicles, yeah. they just use it a lot. Uh, but they don't go far. <laughs> so yeah, that's, 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 every fire truck will have low miles. You would hear that's say. true of all the municipal vehicles, yeah. but it's worse with the fire. fire. Like they can be at a scene for hours and it just runs. Because it runs, so but it doesn't interesting. go anywhere. You know? mm. so, um, yeah, so you'll notice that in years to come that their miles are low, even though they're asking for something new. Mm. Um, do you know how many of the um, excretion pieces of equipment that, that contain three of them? Three. That's three pieces, or is it three three different trucks? It's three things, three different functional things. One each of three different one items. Each one of each of three like different things. Uh, like so yes. one does one job, one does another job, and yeah. another job, and, but it could be put into one in each truck, or it could be put in all one truck. Um, from what I recall, they would all go in... I believe he plans for to have them all in one vehicle, one but they're vehicle. not attached to each other the way they are now. now. The hydraulic right. ones they have now are yeah. different attachments for right. one These are battery equipment. operated. And these are battery operated, separated, separate yeah. different pieces of equipment. Yep. Okay. So you could separate them. Um, but then you'll always have to take have, both vehicles right. with you, so, not knowing what you have to do. That's but that's not different than what? We have now. Um, there's one. There's one, one so that they would take that vehicle. But if you separated the three pieces oh, on the right. different no, trucks, no. you'd have to take yeah. three trucks to take because you don't know what you have. No yeah. One. Yeah. So um, just as some additional background, they discovered. So they went to go service this jaws of life mm -hmm. thing and discovered it was the second oldest mm -hmm. piece of equipment in the city of New Hampshire. Okay. The first oldest is a backup to a backup mm -hmm. in the city of Nashua. Okay. Um, so. It's thirty very years. Old. It's, yeah, it's very old. sort of at any time. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, Janko bought that for them years, years right. and years ago. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, that it's served its time. <laughs> yep. So, but he he says that those are his two priorities. Yep. Yeah. Um, they the air packs were number one, mm -hmm. but they get but moved out. Can you take stuff from the reserve fund from another line and move it to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, eventually. You're gonna have you're to gonna pay to, for it. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you'd have to put yeah, it back. I, the moral of this story is that everything is underfunded, yeah. Yeah. and we're still learning about things that need to be funded. And so you'll notice that on the bottom right hand side of the whole sheet that you've got $3.5 million worth of equipment on this sheet, mm -hmm. and we're proposing approximately $200,000 a year for a you know? Yeah. So, so there's no way these things are fully funded. Mm -hmm. It goes up incrementally in an effort to get closer, but um, there's always going to be a cash outlay at some mm -hmm. point, whether it be now or later. Did Mark say whether or not he thought there might be some opportunity for grants? I didn't know that that came up. Um, we certainly should bring that up to, yeah. to him um, to see if he can. I don't know if they still do the FEMA grant that we got the fire truck through. Right. Um, but we should at least try. Yep. You know? Yeah. Yeah, they probably have. You talking about the jobs of life? What are those things that look like? Uh, they pop open windows or something? They pop yeah. open yeah. the windows. They, 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 they make cuts. They make cuts. Like triple A. Well, a little more in depth. You don't want to wait for triple A when you're having your car accident. No, they put the balloon in it. They pop up the balloon. All right. 
Now this is a job, this is a big vice. It opens it up. Um, but anyway, we should at least encourage him to try to see yeah. if there's any kind of grants and stuff that this goes forward. Made to us. Thank you. Um, but okay, any other questions on purchases? Zebra grants there as well. They rent their days of life out? They charge people, uh, other towns to use it. Uh, I don't know. How do you know you can? Fees. Well, $500 per well, individual. You know? Well, they probably call you. They call up. You go and use there. it. And oh, then they charge you. They send you a bill. Yeah. Oh. He got a, the chief got an idea. Um, he was attending a conference in Connecticut. Apparently he heard of, he heard of it there. I wonder if that works with mutual aid. Well, as I say, we, we have mutual aid for that very purpose. Exactly. They bring their trucks that we don't have, and you know, we bring, we bring our stuff that we have. Yeah. So, you know, that I think the agreement that we have as a mutual aid works really nice. I would not like to start charging people to, to um, Just stay you in know. your car for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, I wouldn't want to get down that road or other departments, but anyway. Um, so that, yeah, I think those two changes, um, I feel good about it. How about you guys? Yeah, this made sense to me. Um, it, it keeps the 2020 overall number to, uh, I think we allocated a, roughly that, I think it was 179 last year, something like that. Um, so, are we okay with funding everything that we're funding as well as on top of what we're buying? Yeah. Okay. Jessica? Yeah. Okay. Um, just like wondering why, like number the number in the highway department, their number. I imagine these are priorities they're sorted by. That's yes. priority. So like third priority. There's no money set aside for 190 thousand, but we're putting in a. Twelve thousand for a forty-five thousand dollar roof. Mm -hmm. That seems backwards to me. <laughs> so, so yeah, by all means, if you want to work this spreadsheet and make a suggestion to the board about what you think is a reasonable way to rework this, do that because there's, you know, an infinite number of ways yeah. to approach so, this. Right. Mm -hmm. Because that but, roof is sooner. Um, right. It's Little not. Sooner, a, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the priorities, I don't think a huge amount of thought has gone into sorting them, except when it's right. becoming closer to the purchase year. Mm -hmm, yeah. Right. Um, because I agree, like, something that's five years out should be a higher priority, maybe. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. yeah something seems a lot, but mm -hmm. you're right. It doesn't seem like it's this 2013. I imagine is saying that it's a 2013 dump truck. Isn't there a new? There's a new truck coming, right? Is that that's the highway department, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Highway. Highway. Yeah. Okay, that was my only thought, but yeah. No, I I agree with you. Um. Um. But that can be a work in progress too. It can yeah. Be, so um. Adjusted. Really, it's more about what we want to go for for this year exactly. and the amount of money going in. Sure. And all of this can change every single year depending on their need and something that's happened with a piece of equipment that may have to yeah. be replaced that was out for 20 years or 10 years or something may for some reason have to be replaced early. Every, every year there are surprises and every year the department yeah. heads come with priorities that we weren't, weren't even necessarily on the list yeah. the, the year yeah. before because this is a still it, it's still a relatively new mm -hmm. planning tool. Mm -hmm. So it, we know that it you know we're not funding everything fully, and also we know that it doesn't contain everything, even though we kind of hope it does. But we, yeah, we keep finding we keep finding more things. But we just make a good effort to put money aside, yep. which is the important part, and that we can mm -hmm. start planning. And you can just rob from one to another if you need to, and that's you just got to make the priority what it is that year. So, yeah. so I would like to right. recap for you what sure. you've chosen for okay. this um, for CIP items. We've got thirty-five thousand dollars for police cruisers. That's for a, you know a new one plus the existing um, cruiser lease. The um, generator for thirty thousand dollars. The fire extraction equipment for 30. The fire forestry for 55. And then um, I just, the, I'm, I'm putting these into the bottom of your um, 
your operating budget and capital projects. Mm -hmm. um, I also wanted to remind the board of other Warren articles that are not on the CIP, like the land appraisal is in here, which only for um, land trust capital reserve fund in case somebody wants to put something in um, conservation. But also, um, I put in here as a placeholder for discussion $30,000 for having this building assessed. Um, there's a company who is working on getting me a quote, and I, you know, that's what it cost the school years ago. It's a bigger building, but that was years ago. So I don't know how good that figure is or isn't, but it's just a discussion point. Mm -hmm. But he has not just have the building assessed. Mm -hmm. That's to, crazy. Okay, well, it's like a very detailed assessment of what Oh, okay. Like, is it structurally sound? sound? What does it really need? Yeah. Does, okay. Yeah. Going yeah. in and see if there's asbestos here, what are your hazards, what are your like, needs to be yes. repaired to make it? What is like a thousand dollars? No, you need engineers to yeah. kind okay. really know yeah, what see, they're looking at. The ceilings and the cellar and the everything. Because if we're going to stay here, right. we're going to have to put some money into it. Well, and we need we need to have a capital improvement plan just for this building. Like how you know how what is the maintenance schedule for fixing the boiler or the ACs and when should they get replaced mm -hmm. and you know electrical is it up to code even we have no idea what's behind these walls. Right. Okay. Does she have a copy of the Bandla one? Um, it's on the drive, but I'll share it what with is it? you. It's um, the assessment that was done years ago. Well, it was 2015. Oh, it was an assessment of this building, but really um, toward renovating it and moving walls around. It was about if we were to stay here, how can we optimize this space? Mm -hmm. So it had a dollar figure attached, but it's different from saying, what if we stayed here and we just made do with what we have and just bring everything up to code and pick away at things mm -hmm. and not necessarily move walls? But it might be good for you to just I think you kind of want it, yeah, it. it. So you, you know, to see, you get an idea of what we're talking about. If you about. go to the drive and search Banwell, B-A-N-W-E-L-L, -L, you'll find it. Okay. Happy reading. <laughs> Okay, so um, do we need to make a motion? So um, that, for reference, is $185,000 worth of expenditures, not counting any offset income from the CIP fund, that including the $30,000 assessment. Um, as opposed including it? To, that includes the $30,000, which is down from two ninety four dollars from the previous year. Um, Though, again, it, it doesn't have its offsetting revenue from the fund, so mm -hmm. it's not, what the tax impact is, is, is not really, I'd have to look, given what you said about how you want to fund things, um, what is going to be the, um, the tax outlay for each of those things, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so does everyone understand that part of it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are we in agreement on, we are in agreement on the, um, what we're going to purchase through it this year, yep. and how much we're, we're going to fund for it. Mm -hmm. All right, so do we want to, um, any more changes that you guys want to talk about, or do you want to go forward with what we have? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, all right, so do you want us to want to make a motion? So I'll move that we allocate 186895 for CIP um, projects. Can you say that? Um, You're picking the two thousand and twenty dollar amount. Two hundred twenty thousand. One hundred eighty-six. Yes. Which includes the assessment. Yes. Okay. So, so it's, it's a bit of a wash. You're just putting, you're okay. paying, it's, you know, it depends on how you think of it. Essentially, you're paying cash for everything, except you're putting not quite two thousand dollars away. Okay. Okay. That's one way to think of it. It's yes. not. All right. Yeah, we're not growing the fund at right. all. Right, right. This, this year. Right. This year. Yeah. I mean, we certainly could, but that's more money. More yeah. money. Yeah. For sure. All right. You want to second that? Second it. Okay, so any further discussion on that? All right, hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. So CIP is going forward. Awesome. All right. So. What is my next one? Um, 
recreation. You want to talk about recreation? We can do that. All right. So we met last, was that last night? Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Um, I had a discussion about what we can and possibly change and what we um, what was good and what was um, could be better on um, the program. Um, what are your guys' feelings about the recreation? <coughs> given this is, this is a complicated one, but given what we've heard and the value that providing to not only town residents but area. I think we should keep at least Camp Raleigh. Maybe pare it down. Uh, like the how it gets executed, I am not in touch with it. Mm -hmm. I, I just am not you are much more mm -hmm. um, you're much closer to it than I am. But I, I don't I wouldn't want to see it go away completely. Yeah. Team I don't know. I think it was a consensus at our meeting that night that we could um, disband team. Mm -hmm. um, but what it also was um, brought up about doing um, that is taking the money that was allocated to team and hiring a part-time rec director who could take off on the, some of the duties. Camp Raleigh would report to the rec director. The rec director would be doing summer rec, winter rec. We'd have to talk more about how many hours and those kind of things. But it would also be taking some of the work off of this office. Mm -hmm. um, it would be going through the policies. It would be going through um, what is required through Primex and all of our other concerns that we have about um, procedures and policies and manuals and stuff. So I think that's a good idea that we try to think about hiring a rec director. And being the rec director can also be the rec director for, or maybe not the overseer, I mean, having a maybe two positions under them that is really dedicated to Raleigh. Um, but I think team just didn't have the numbers, in my opinion, to make it. There's a lot of money going out. I know they brought a lot of money in, but it's a lot of energy to get it going. And that was one of our weaknesses this year, was how much work it took to organize the trips. Because team camp never was at location. They were always on a trip, right. so it was busing and it was uh, okay. buying tickets and doing all. It was just a lot of work for the amount of children that participated in it. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, um, I do believe Raleigh is worth saving or at least trying another year to see what we can do. Um, one of the things that I brought up at our meeting is that if Rollinsford taxpayers are going to contribute dollar, dollars to the program, we should restrict it to do a of students only. That was one of my suggestions. Because we have outside cities and towns who will participate in it as or well. Or raise. What do for free? They already do pay higher rates. They do pay higher rates. The problem is that you not necessarily know a lot about what's coming to you. And I think that was some of our problems this year. We, we don't have the staff to handle certain situations or certain conditions. And so that is concerning to me as well. Um, so I think if you limit it to the children who are in the grade school, you kind of know what you have, you, you know, as in certain uh, conditions that you would have to make sure we can handle. Uh, now, that takes away the revenue, right. that is, but it also would reduce your staff. How many out-of-town kids were there? Well, so you did this um, thing. I printed it out. However, oh, if I understand, yeah. 61 campus were Rollins of Residence. That was 10 was Raleigh. Uh, no, 10 was teen and 51 was Raleigh. Mm -hmm. But you never told us how many were out of, of, of town. She did follow up with that. Okay. Um, there are 48 out of town residents, eight of them were teen camp, and that um, 40 was camp, um, was camp Raleigh. But not only does camp 
looking at the individual numbers, Camp Raleigh in town does not utilize the before and after care nearly as much as the out-of-towners do, and that is a big money maker for the camp. And a big cost. You forget about that part, though. It costs you to pay your staff to come in and well, run the program. I think the point, though, is that we don't know. We, we haven't had time to run numbers of, you know, non-residents and what they use, the benefit versus the cost reduction. Like, mm -hmm. we, like we can only speak about it anecdotally at this point because True. we haven't... But people are forgetting if you have less students, you have less staff, which costs you less. And if we can well, use one right. bus versus two buses, it costs you less. We don't know what those numbers are yet, but... Well, the question is, are you losing $5,000 to save $2,000? Or are you losing $2,000 to save $4,000? We don't know But because it's not consistent of families every single year going in to the program, then it, could change anyway. it could change anyway. So it all depends who comes and who doesn't. It was just, my only concern was that if we, we limit it to just Rollinsford students, we kind of know what we're going to have and we're going to have. That was where my um, thought was. But, I mean, if it's, a, if it's about revenue and, and funding this thing, I mean, it, there just comes some risk with that. So. I think I'm fine either way. So, you reach a critical mass. So, if, if you have 10 kids and one person, if you have 12 and two. Mm -hmm. So, there's going to be a point where... 50 kids versus 70 kids, you have the same staff, right? Mm -hmm. um, but if the 20 were from out and they have um, some um, disabilities that we are not capable of handling, that's my concern. Because we. But that are, could come through the door. I mean, I mean there could be could. residents. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's just one of those things that, yeah. um, that we experienced this year. Um, so. Um, but you know, if you if you want to keep it open to, out, I'm okay with that. I do I do believe that we should continue with Raleigh. So, one question on the rec director. So we we currently pay someone in the summer to be the rec director. For well, we had a rec director for teen, and we had one for Raleigh. Okay. So they don't work. If one does not is not the supervisor of the other. They're two They're leaders two. of their of their two groups. So we wouldn't hire a rec director for team because it isn't okay, going so to be somebody. However, if money. we hired a rec director, and possibly that person could be it, or anybody else who applies, whatever. But it would give us an opportunity to have rec for the whole year. Mm -hmm. For a certain amount of, it would certainly be really part time. I mean, I'm not looking for you know a lot of hours throughout the year. I mean, there's going to be more. Thirteen thousand could get you twelve hours a year, twenty dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. So that's you could. Loaded obviously heavily in the summer, but mm -hmm. that's not nothing. Mm -hmm. No, but that's what I'm thinking is if we can at least start it to have a lead person who is organizing events, um, like they were talking about the basketball program. Uh, Kelly, um, Kelly, Kelly Anderson uh, is the one who really takes care of it, I and mean, she has to hire the refs. She has to. Um, Pick two locations. She, what is it? Do all the scheduling. scheduling with all you the know, that is something that the rec director could assist um, mm -hmm. instead of volunteer doing it. Um, um, one person dealing with our office instead of several people dealing with our office. I yeah. think that we need to simplify the office. Um, it makes sense to me. So, but that money w would no longer be revenue neutral. No, no. it wouldn't. So, You're right. It wouldn't. Well, I'm not. Go ahead. Well, so, so two things. You, you can decide that. Right. We haven't talked about revenue so, yet. So you can decide what the rates will be, but you don't know how many kids. So you never really know, because you don't know how many kids, whether or not you're going to hit the mark or not. But you right. get to decide whether or not the rec director is going to be covered by the cost of camp or not. Yeah. Or how much are you going to subsidize. You yeah. all get to decide that. Um, but just keep in mind that you don't have a budget until the third right. week in March. Mm -hmm. So yep. 
so these funds, if you keep, they're not helping us between now and then. True. Unless exactly. you're going to just take a risk on it and do it anyway. No, I, we would not, especially with the with rec in, in, in particular. I wouldn't think we would do anything until after March. But you know, I think that um, you know, I I am also saying that we should have our tuition contain a portion of the at least the rec director's um, salary um, to help cover it. You want to make it affordable, yeah. but we, you know, the reason why a lot of the out of, out of town people are coming is we're so affordable. Right, right. And jack up the out of town rates. What's that? Jack up the out of town rates. Well, they are they are up already, right. but um, well, what they do. They have more out of town. They're a little higher, right? Yeah. Um, in both camps, they're higher, and it's proposed that they go up again, yeah. and they're going up for the out of towners in Camp Brawley more than they will go up for the residents. It's like five dollars a week and for the residents and it's like ten to twenty dollars for the non residents per week. And they pay a hundred dollars per um registration. registration more than Camp Raleigh does. So for the whole even more than that, because for our for a resident whole summer is three fifty. For a non resident at the 2019 rate is 470 for your first child, and then Camp Raleigh um, siblings get discounts um, down from there, and then so any group of siblings get discounts, but they're proportional to your rate. So like the you, you take 10 percent off, I think. But this is something that we can also monitor and control too, and yeah. increase it because that is extremely, extremely cheap. I mean, cheap. what's a week of daycare cost? A uh, hundred dollars a child. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it, you know, it, a week. Yeah. If not more, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had daycare, so yeah. I mean. I have people. I've heard people say that it can cost forty thousand a year. Yeah. Oh yeah, easily. So that's why they're choosing to do. Camp, but what is it? <laughs> right, right. So equation. I'm saying there is some flexibility of um, of our pricing as too. That was their recommendation, but we can okay. modify that. So would we move forward with this budget as proposed, or do you think it needs? I think you need order? to clarify that. I think the budget proposed is doable. I just think that you need to make sure that we vote to if we're going to re, uh, no longer support Teen Camp and um, support it as a um, rec director yep. of some, whatever that money will afford. Um, so, so just... it's in here, it's separate, right? Oh, no, see, teen, I mean, yes. Teen yes, it is, yeah. Separate. So you have currently a summer, a camp really rec director, right. a teen camp director, um, so and combining. then there's counselors in the summer camp too, because for every ten children, what is the number? Um, every six for grades one through three is it one counselor? Is one counselor? Okay. Every um, four or five is um, one to eight, and um, I believe it's one to eight for or one to nine. Um, for the sixth through eighth graders, and then the teen camp is one to fifteen. Okay, but we're not doing teen, teen. So yeah. So you know you're still going to have to do your your counselors yeah. as well as your directors. Right. But one director one and then your rec director being so my, above all. So my point all. is that money plus thirteen thousand. Like, I just I don't I don't think we need to necessarily decide it tonight, but it's. More than thirteen thousand for a rec director, right? We, let's say we pay them. Well, I think the point is we don't really know. We, don't we know, know that what we have spent on a rec director for the summer, mm -hmm. but then what is an adequate amount of time outside of yeah. summer mm -hmm. for I whatever you're going to delegate them to do? Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm fine with allocating. We can wait for Jessica, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't think we need to spend every dime. Mm -hmm. um, we need to figure out. We need to figure out what amount of time is. You and maybe the first year, it's it is the whole amount, mm -hmm. and then it's up and running. And mm -hmm. I don't. Know. Yeah, um, but I think we uh, the. 
the board would have a lot of input on what that position is going to do and um, how many hours and what the cost is, more so over the rec mm -hmm. committee. Um, we need to have that more in because we also need to make sure that Caroline's office is going to know what's going to happen and it's going to help them as well. So, um, but I would say we start we start with that, see how it goes, see if we get anything, um, and then um, again go forward for next, the next year if it um, works. Yeah, we can improve and go even higher, and if it doesn't, we can go backwards and just keep Raleigh and what we had before. Great. So, but I'd like to at least try it and see how that works. Okay. I'm on board with that. Okay, so we're on board that we recommend the, the whole rec department's budget not doing teen mm -hmm. and replace that with a rec director, whatever we can get on that. Right. Um, then that will oversee the the camp director, we'll call it, instead of a rec director, we'll call it a camp director for Raleigh, mm -hmm. who would report to the rec director, or be under the umbrella of it. They'll be part of it, but they... So another, so there's a rec director that isn't, like, overseeing Camp Raleigh? I think that rec director is going to oversee oh, okay. Camp Raleigh. That, that, that camp director will report to the rec director. Is what I'm saying. Okay. And the committee. So right now we have like an assistant director. We have a direct. We have a director, and we have an assistant okay. for Raleigh, and we have a director and team. Okay. And we have counselors under them as well. But I think um, seeing um, having the rec director be the go-to person. Um, not to not to um, analyze this thing to death, but where would we put this person? A lot of it can be done in their own home. Okay. I mean, I, I don't see. What do you think? I think there, you know, there are associated files. It's, it's perhaps part of, I agree with you that a lot of it can be done from home mm -hmm. and just attending meetings mm -hmm. and when there's actual camp, then it's off-site anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just about making occasional space here for occasional things. But I don't, um, I, I guess that's a discussion point. Um, is there a computer? Is there? There is not currently a computer. Mm -hmm. um, the desks left the board's office oh. today. I, so, oh, I didn't even look in there. So have a look. Okay. Um, furniture has been rearranged a mm -hmm. bit. Um, we still don't have the right piece of furniture for the board, but we can make that kind of a, um, a place where different people who are here for short periods mm -hmm. of time for various reasons can come and mm -hmm. have a place to work. Mm -hmm. Or possibly even the room next door, right? That's really... Uh, Just for a place to work. Well, it's not heated, um, so, so there's that about it. Um, but the bigger issue, or at least as much of an issue, is the filing problem. There, there's no space in there right now. Right now, it, it may be different after we do shredding. We're scheduled to, there's a bunch of boxes in there that, that are going to get shredded. It'll help clean things out, mm -hmm. but all the planning and zoning files are all over the place. So for as long as they're all over the place, there's kind of no pl way to make that a workspace yeah. for somebody. I mean, we can, I, we I can figure, this out. figure it out. You know, it's, I, we could have a little small two-door yeah, file cabinet in here that's locked. Yeah. I mean, I think we could work it out. I don't yeah. think they need any more than a two-door file you know, cabinet. Well, and we've got some time to yeah. talk about but, it. But, um, I mean, those are all logistic things that we can work out. And, um, I mean, this room isn't used a lot during the day. No, and I yeah. use it, like, we all use it sometimes for if you need to just spread things out. Oh, of course, out and, yeah, you know. but it wouldn't be anything okay. that we might be able to. Yeah, I think we can here. work it out. So, okay, so, do we want to make a motion? Yeah, I'll, I'll move that um, we fund the parks and recreation line at 63,000, I think that says 575. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Second? Yes. All right, with the changes that we discussed, right? Changes we discussed. Okay. All right. Any further discussion on that? All right.
Aye. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passed. All right. Transfer station attendance. Okay. So, um, we had an interesting conversation um, at our last budget workshop about how this line was budgeted and, and the number didn't reflect what we thought he was trying to accomplish. So I spoke with him and I created a calculator um, that you can see in the actual spreadsheet of this, but obviously not at what you're looking at. So I've got, I've got everybody in the spreadsheet who currently works there at their current hourly wage and then um, everybody earmarked for a 2% increase because that's what everybody else is getting. You can discuss whether or not you want to do a market increase for anyone or, or whatnot. I just want to show, like, how this is calculated right now is based on everybody working what they current, as what they currently earn, um, earn um, for a number of hours um, with a 2% increase it adds a fourth person. I wrote, so Ed and I went to a Lamprey meeting today. We spent a lot of time in the car together. Um, he's been working a couple of Saturdays at the transfer station um, because somebody else hasn't been able to attend. And so during that time, he's been watching the flow and picturing and trying to come up with different ideas for how flow is going to be managed when scales are purchased. And he doesn't see that being very, it's going to have to be manned. So, so he's, he's proposing the fourth person in, in there. I think it's going to be very challenging to have scales without a fourth person. Whether or not it's impossible, I don't know. But So I have this calculated with a fourth person in there at the starting wage. Um, then there's also brush chipping. Um, so was that... That was line 204, right? Attendance. So, That's the one we're talking about, right? I'm, I'm in the calculator, sorry. Oh. Yes, 204. Okay. All right. okay, so I took out the brush chipping because he told me that the highway department handles that. So, um, so, 16 hours a week the transfer station is open. Um, the primary person who does the bailing, I bumped him up to 18 hours a week just because for the bailing because the bailing can't happen when the place is open. So there's that. Is um, that a safety reason? Yes. Okay. Because the stuff can fly off. Yes. Okay. Um, so you've got, so when I say a fourth person, it's really three quote unquote full time people plus one on just Saturdays. Not full time, part time. Well, but like full time, but their are hours. Okay. Full time, okay. full, yeah, okay. you know, three days a week is what yeah, I mean. And so, additional one on Saturday. So three okay. people, three days a week, one of which is working two extra hours to bail, plus a fourth person who's there for just Saturdays. That's what this line represents. Okay. If you give everybody a 2% increase, mm -hmm. that's going to cost 38534 which is way more than what has been budgeted. You have 39,907 on that. Yes, I did because that included brush chipping. Oh, so, so, the, so it was subsequent to that that I spoke to him oh, and, and brush chipping is handled by the, the highway. Uh, so you can change that number. Yeah. I, thought, I thought we already had another unfilled position. Yeah. Well, right, which means to me that we have not been budgeting this line appropriately because if, you know, if that's the case, he's been talking about this unfilled position that's been funded, but to my mind, it hasn't been funded. Maybe it was the intent that it be funded. Yeah, maybe. Now, what is that position that is unfilled right now? Job responsibilities. I can't respond to that. Oh, okay. It's staffing. It's just staffing. Well, is it just additional well, one guy so, here, two guys there? I mean, well, I think it's about when you go there and the person, there's nobody at the hopper because they're managing recycling. Because yep. somebody puts something in the recycling that doesn't go, so they're yep. sifting there. So that means they can't check for stickers always at the hopper. Okay. And so always, always having two, having two okay. people up there. Okay. Right. But there's always someone that has to pull the corks out of the wine bottles. Right. Because people don't do that. There's always people don't take their like their their metal caps off of their mm -hmm. glass jars, mm -hmm. you know, like things like that that they're always yep. sorting through. Okay. So it would have separate people at those different stations all the time. So you're you're recommending an additional 
person on top of the other one that hasn't been filled because they can't get anybody to do it? Well, they do. They have had a couple of applicants, okay. and, and he has another one now that he's looking into that I don't know where he'd find funding for, but he, he, has, he has an applicant he's considering. Um, so the additional staff person would man the demo operation, essentially. Well, so, so not taking away from what the person down there currently does, the make sure, you right. know, like yeah. making sure cardboard baler is not mm -hmm. overflowing, making sure that the paper is really just paper. And, and collects and, the money for demo. Right. So help with demo. Somebody's got to transfer all the demo over the demo bucket every time because people are just going to drop it right there where the scales are. It's so, when we get the scales. Right, so saying. somebody's going to yeah. have to transfer. So to my mind, that extra person is tied to scales, and, and we're like hobbling by now, and maybe it's okay, maybe it's not, but with scales. So the extra person would be for scales, and the extra person we haven't been able to fill it with is still up on top. Well, no. So, so this this figure, thirty-eight five, mm -hmm. is for three people every day, except a fourth person on Saturday. So you're still kind of having just one person down below most of the time. Most of the time, it's so just Saturday. on Saturdays when it's busy that there's a fourth person who can either float or really help with. We already have scales. someone working just Saturday. Correct. Okay. Only because you're saying that the one that they, they want to hire, we didn't fund. That's why you're saying that, right? Because what he's saying is that he has an extra body that he hasn't been able to fill. But we really don't have that money, the money in the budget for that extra body, right? Given, right. So, well, that's, yes. so when you're going to, so if you want three on top and two on the bottom, you're going to have to budget for two people because we don't have the one that we haven't been able to fill budgeted. Is that what you're saying? I'm not sure I'm understanding okay, it. Okay, like, so, so there's so three, two people he thinks, he's already, he thinks he's already budgeted for three people. But you're saying you don't think he plus is. Plus a fourth on Saturday. And I'm telling you that that's not what the num that's not what the numbers reflect according to my calculations. Right. Yet, he's only 57% spent for the year through September because, you know, so... Because we had another person until... Right. I know it was you months had ago. A, yeah, it was, yeah, probably about three months ago we moved or something, right? What is so, the spreadsheet so she does the calculation? It's in the details line. Details. Thank you. So... The, the proposed 39907. You can reduce to 38,534 because the number you just said includes brush tipping or burning, um, burning really, which you, um, the, the, the attendants don't do, the highway department okay. does it separately. It doesn't include a mega adjustment for this one person. Correct. So right well, now, well, right, right. right. That's just what the calculator's oh, doing. You oh, can okay. do whatever you want, but that's what the calculator's doing. So, so the, the, we'll go with the 39,907. That is how many employees? Four employees. Three every day, but a fourth just on Saturdays. Okay, but now you want four every day. No, 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 no. This number, this 38,534, is for three people every day, but a fourth on Saturday. That's so, you're not, so you don't have a scale person then? Scale person on Saturday. Saturday only on scale? Mm -hmm. So this is... Oh, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have a miscalculation. One person, 18 on. hours a week. One person, 16 hours a week. One no, person, I did a, six hours a week. I did a, I did a, I did a thing. Okay, new number. 32,700. Okay. He was, he was calculated as full-time and not just on Saturdays. So the number, the count, all right. So 32,700 is what he's requesting. It's three people every day, but a fourth person on Saturdays. Okay. Three people every day. So two up top, one down below. Will work on most days. It's Saturdays when it's more of a problem. Right. So this is no different than what we have now. Correct, except that it allows for a 2% increase. So why is it such a different... But where is the scale person? Well, this, there isn't really a scale person. It's just that you absolutely need to hire... Ed would say you absolutely need to hire this third person. 
Well, that's not, no, he's saying just one more person. You've got the Saturday only person. Yep. So one more person so the Saturday, every day. So the Saturday person only works Saturday. So Correct. that means there's one up top and one on the bottom. During the week, During on Monday week. and Wednesday, yes, that's currently what's the, what the... Is that what you want when you get the scale? No, now it's going to be three people on Mondays and Wednesdays and four people on Saturday. So let me show you the calculator. Maybe that will help you visualize this. Oh, am I yeah. getting it? You're not getting it. It's, it, it's, <laughs> so right now we have three total. So right. one, one Saturday only, two... Right. The rest of the time. Which is? And this will add another rest of the time person. So. All the time. All another the time. all the time person. We can use the word full time, but we know it's not full time. So it's going to be, yeah, because there's only one person who is a one day, one day person. Right. And then, but right now, you only have, well, are we talking about bodies we physically have right now, or are we talking about allocated money for bodies that we want? People can change. It's, it's no, 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 no. I'm just saying, is Wait. the money in the budget because he has? He thinks he has one outstanding position. Yeah. Which would give I him three does. during the week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now he wants another one, which will give him four. He wants says, another ten hours a month. Would you like to look at this? And you can see how I did. Here, here's, you know, we've got 18 hours a week for him, two hours for bailing outside of yeah. open hours. Okay. So that equals that many hours a year. Yeah. Yes. And then we've got this one for just as many hours as it is open, yeah. which is that many hours yeah. a year. We've got he, him, he works on Saturdays, Saturday. yeah. so that's that many hours yeah. a year. And then somebody else for all the time that it's open, it's open. Yeah. for that same number of hours per, per year. Okay. That's it. And where is the where is the scale tie? Well, they're going to make do with that. That's, that's oh, okay. That's where I was lost because you're saying we need a scale guy and then we need a replacement guy because they want the replacement. Oh, but no, 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 no. I, I'm sorry. That's where I got confused. Do you see where I? Yeah. yeah okay. I think that's now. yeah because I thought we needed a full time scale guy. Um, but you probably really need for Saturdays. You know. But, yeah, I get it now. All right. Phew. <laughs> okay, so the good news is that line only went up 3.8% to 32,700. Okay, 32,700 changes the 3907 to 32,700, right? Yes, and okay. so that's a change. That's an increase of $1,194, or 3.8%. But it does not consider the requested market increase. If you want to talk about that, this is the just the 2%. That is just 2% for all the existing people. And starting rate for the new person. What did you change on the tab to get it down to 32 on the detail lines? Um, I changed the third person on line 63 yeah. to 312 hours because he's six oh, hours a week. Oh, I see, I see. That's really You've got that static, hours. man. 312. <laughs> Killing me. Cool. Okay, so. Um, so what is the hourly rate that we're, this is budgeted at? Um, it'll be 11.44. The two percent increase will bring that position to 11.44. Um, so for everyone? No. Just um, 11.22 for the other two okay. already existing people plus 11 dollars for the not yet hired person. That's the starting rate. Okay. So I think at our last meeting we talked about adjusting most senior person to something, eleven seventy five or twelve dollars. I don't remember. I thought I had it written down. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really done. want to go with the what they were asking oh, for. Oh no. I that agree. was way that's, too much. That's too much. Um so um, So if you want to give me a rate, I can tell you what it does at the bottom line. What was like it? Twelve? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. What does twelve look like? Because that person will also instruct the scale yeah. and be working with the other one. So um thirty three thousand two twenty. I can remember that. Yeah. Thirty three thousand two twenty? Yes. That um brings the change for the line to seventeen hundred and fourteen dollars. A five point four percent increase. Okay. How about you, Jessica? Can you remember that? that sounds great. Okay. Did you say thirty three two hundred? Yep. Yes. All right. Okay. 
I don't I don't mean to beat a dead horse here. I just don't understand the percentage increase. On the line? Yeah. Um because if we're giving you're, because I, I I think it just speaks to the previous year not oh, being... Oh, it's extra, but extra hours as well. Well, yes. A little bit. Okay. A little okay. bit for bailing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which wasn't previous. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are we all good for that? All right. What else do we have to talk about that we hadn't? Um, fire, salary, No, highway's all set? Um, do you want to vote on the overall um, transfer station budget? Are you done talking about transfer station? Is there anything else been all set on that? Let's, yeah, let's revise it because if we voted on it. So the bottom, I have a bottom line for that department right now, 146,522. Is that line um, 222? Yes. Say it again, please. 146,522. Okay. An increase of 31,914. 30.5 percent. 146, 542? 522. 522. And an increase of 30.5 percent. Oh, sorry, 31,914. Uh, or 30.5 percent. Okay. And that's mostly driven. Yeah, that's tipping fees. Tipping fees. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, like, you know, it was substantiated by our visit to Lamprey today where they've got everybody's tonnage outlined and we're at 95.4% of our annual budget with Lamprey. Nobody else really is. Everybody's on mark for three quarters of a year for third quarter. Um, so you don't think that we have to increase it more based on what we were told earlier? There's no way to really know. I know. But, you know, I, I have to think that we're good. We've went over those numbers 75 times. We'll just have to okay. see what happens. Did, um, I know we have to, at the next meeting, talk about our dumping permits. Um, yes. The so does that help offset, well, it just goes to the general fund, right? It doesn't help offset the sanitation budget itself. Right? Well, yes, but indirectly because it's in the general fund. Okay. All right. Okay. Any other questions on sanitation? Okay, let's have a motion then, please. Uh, I'll move that we um, fund sanitation at 146.522. Seconded. All right. Any other discussion? No. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, motion passed. All right. Um, Fire, higher salaries. Was that the only other thing that we had to talk about? That's what we um, I do have updates on um, liability insurance and um, the avatar contract amount and some things like that. Can you tell me now what where is we are overall? Yep. Because I think that will... We are at an even 3% increase. Okay. I, and I can give you more detail about that if you... Oh, wow. So it was 3.3 and now it's an even 3? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to go to the fire department salaries. Um, so, um, Mark had submitted his proposal for a uh, dollar uh, increase. The goal is to get firefighters to um, minimum wage. Um, so last year, it was just for Jessica because you're, you're new to this. Mm -hmm. Last year, they had a budget of $46,000. Mm -hmm. The select board for 2019 proposed raising it to 51000 um, that was cut through the budget committee's um, approved budget, that, the, the budget that was ultimately approved, mm -hmm. and the select board allocated that money to them anyway. So the fire department is currently operating with a salary budget of $51,000, even though that is not what's reflected in the town approved budget. Okay. So while they're asking for an increase of $10,000, that's going to be really five. a felt increase for them of five. Got it. Does, 
Mark understand that when he was asking for the 10? Yes. And, but he still wants the 10. Well, he wants the extra, uh, he wants he the wants five, five more than what he has now. Yes. Oh, okay, so he knows that he would only get five more yes. than what, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. That's good to know, though. That I mean, that's easy. it's easier to explain. Yes. All right. Um, any, okay, so one of the, at last night's meeting, um, there was some discussion with about fire salaries, and they're um, requesting uh, to see the formula and to see the third quarter, um, uh, see three months worth of history. They only are paid quarterly, so it would only be one payment that you would, they would be seeing. However, Charlie, I don't know. I'm going to talk to Charlie. Is that okay, guys? Because yeah. he's the one that asked for it. I don't know if that was at the previous meeting, it was voted not to supply that information. Correct? It was passed in May. Not to. No. No. To. To. Um, I'm going to have the to look only, at it again. The I only adjustment I made was that it was not. It was noted that we wanted points and how you earn the points, and I wanted to know a three-month sample. But when it came to the minutes, the three-month sample was not in the motion, and that's when I made the motion last night to put it in so that we could have and did the a last sample. Night pass or fail? It passed yes. unanimous. Okay. But the, I believe the minutes reflected the. At the, in the May, that they didn't support that. No, it no, was it was it, it was passed unanimously. It was when he asked for the separation of the assistance okay. account yeah. that was defeated. Okay, okay. administrative. Okay. Oh, was administrative? That, that was that the, was the one that was defeated. You're right. You're right. Okay, thank you. I'm not sure I understand. Okay, the they, was administrative. they wanted they wanted to have. Your salary, Chuck's salary, oh, oh, uh, right. uh, yeah. Salme salary. The committee voted not to supply the data, or it is what. Okay, mean. but they do want the fire departments. They they want the fire. They want the pay structure. They want the pay structure, the formula that they use to determine the firefighters' um, salaries, and they want okay. to see um, three month a uh, three month period and how. But they only get paid quarterly, so yeah. they're only going to get one. Yeah, that's all. Um, Just wanted and one to go. That on. can change. Yeah. It does every quarterly just well, because it's based that. on calls. I'm well aware. So, um, so okay. they want to see that. So, um, do you I want to tell Mark? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, good All right. Thank um, you. And I think to his advantage, he should have it. I've already before warned his, him. He knows it's coming. Well, like, so but he just, should have it before he meets with them. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. So, okay. So, um, so what is your thought on the fire department, uh, Jess? Any other questions you might have on that? Because then we should vote on that because we didn't on the bottom line, right? right? Yeah. So, so I would propose um, an increase of less than 10000 well, only because I feel like last year we allocated 10000 whatever, whatever was approved was kind of irrelevant. We authorized or allocated 10000 He's asking for another five. Um, it, it just, it, it feels like we made the market adjustment. Um, it, it feels like this is another market adjustment. I, I understand fully that they're underpaid. Can we do the same thing we did last year? Just call it 5,000 and give them 5,000 from somewhere else? I'm assuming that's what happened last year. Well, so what happened last year? So. The board needs to show the budget committee what the bottom line is of money that you are requesting, but also where in all of these lines mm -hmm. you anticipate spending the money. It's not really transparent to propose money in a way that you know you're not going to spend it. Um, in the end, you do have the authority to move money around, but that's because needs are shifting and things right. are shifting and right and because if your budget doesn't get approved you can still move the money around but you should always present to the budget committee and then the people what your intention is mm -hmm. because likewise the budget committee when they review this budget and decide whether or not to modify the budget they're going to do that based on how you are purporting that you're going to spend the money mm -hmm. yep. So, so, in the end, you do have flexibility, though, yes. that way. 
So like 7,500. Um, I mean, un unfortunately, that's not going to make any kind of dent in the overall. No, because the 7,500 is going to be going just 25 to 30 people divided. So you're thinking about it that way. Yeah. No, no, I mean the overall increase of 3%. Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, I don't even think it would make it in the tenths position. Or, I mean, it wouldn't. I would say I would be in favor of the full 10,000, I think. But it's really only five. You do. You understand that, right? Yes, yes I okay. understand. Okay. Because we're just funding. We're putting it as ten because it's above what the budget committee recommended. Well, because you have to do it based yeah. on what the approved what, from right. what the b approved budget right. is. Yes. That's fine. I mean, you can you can make a motion mild. I mean. No, I, I'm, I'm fine. Um, I do think we need to figure out where where there's additional money we can find. Mm -hmm. um, whether that's road maintenance. Um, Another strategy, if it's helpful, is you know the, the ex what you can afford in expenses. Um, you know, is that one way to think about it is the percentage increase that you're proposing. The other is what is the percentage difference in in, in the property tax oh, yeah. revenues. So. Um, so if you if you get to a standstill where you're going to really struggle with these difficult decisions, you can also switch and let's talk about revenue and see what we think the revenue picture is going to do and see if that offsets this in a way that you feel more comfortable with the 3% because maybe the 3% is really a 1.5% increase on the tax rate. Okay. Because at this point we don't really know that. Mm -hmm. So is it net, um, I know you want to talk to me about this, Carolyn, but is it, is revenue net against expense in the end when it comes to percentage that affects the property tax rate? It's, it's, it's the full proposed expenditure budget minus the revenue that's in the sheet you're holding um, divided by the total, total taxable value of land in Rollinsford. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's hard to know how the taxable land, pick, you know, that can change. Mm -hmm. um, more houses get built, maybe more elderly exemptions qualify. There are a number of factors there, but values are overall going up with the housing market. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't change what your bill's going to be, really, if it's evenly dispersed. Mm -hmm. So for sure, other income helps this expense budget. Mm -hmm. um, Jack up the fees for those out of town or camp rallies. <laughs> 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 um, and and we haven't decided to totally shift to revenue. But one of the things we haven't talked about about revenue when we've been talking about 2019 revenue is that you do have the opportunity next year if you want to take money out of the transportation capital reserve fund to offset road maintenance or any other transportation infrastructure, including the sidewalks. So that's the five five dollars or something that the they five dollars that they put that's in a reserve fund that. You pay five dollars on your registration per, for every registration. Per, additional mm -hmm. of what the co cost would be to go into a, a fund. I missed. I don't understand. Yeah, she, I every every, every time that, you yeah. register a vehicle, yeah, there's an extra five dollar fee. I just started doing that. Registering. So I had someone else do them for me. <laughs> so it's not something that's itemized out for you, so you probably wouldn't notice. But yeah. your registration is now costing you five dollars more than it would have three years ago for that fee. Um, and what is the fee coaching? So it goes into a capital reserve fund that. Four rows. 
Well, for transportation infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So typically, so, the, the registration goes to the state, right? The money goes to the state. Well, you write two checks. Is, one goes so to the state one and one here. goes to Ronald. Yeah. yeah. I've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. So, but the state gets most of it. Got it. They, they, get, they get a good yeah. empty share of it. So it can go to sidewalks. Mm -hmm. You could build an, you know, an electric you know, car charging station if you want. You know, it doesn't have to be roads, but roads <coughs> is the obvious. Yeah. And is that somewhere on here? It is not listed there. It's um, because yeah, those right. reserve funds are money out, really, than rather than money in. So it's not listed okay, here, okay. but it is something in the revenues. Oh, oh, actually, <coughs> I didn't realize we were looking at revenue. Um, it's yellowed out as non-income um, in that I think second yeah, category. Because it used to be when it was first created, it was erroneously reported as income. It's not income because it's not going into the general fund. Um, so it's income when you all decide to use it and transfer it in from the revenue fund. The, the so is this held by the trustees of the trust fund? Yes. Okay. And how much is in there? Um, I have not checked the balance. Um, I was looking at it, you know, it was one of the things I was going to do before 6 o'clock. <laughs> um, I believe it's at about 220 before we make this year's transfer. 220? Yes. Like this is just from this $5 fee? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm. Um, yeah, but it's been yeah. a couple of years. Really 8, well, so it's been two years. Yeah. Well, that was a so first partial years. year. It, it, was, it was late in the year by the time that was implemented. Okay. Got um, it. So. Well, our cars are out of here. Cool. Um, three, four. I'm looking for a balance. It's not listed on the trustees spreadsheet that I have. So I'd have to inquire with them what the balance is, but the la I, I believe the ending 2018 ending balance was 220. So we haven't made our 2019 transfer in yet, but you know, don't quote me on that. So that's um, not quite two and a half years worth of revenue, I believe, if I have that right. Okay, so we do have to go back to fire department and vote and um, vote to approve or not approve the, the dollar on that. Um, Where do we stand on salaries? Is it 10 or is it 5? I'm in favor of 10. But giving them 5 because we're making yeah. it for the other Yeah, but it's a 10. Going in, but it's, it's a 10 increase. Yeah. 10 at the bottom. Yeah. 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 Well, so Miles was having trouble with, he, he said he was okay with that, but he was having trouble with what's going on with the bottom line still, which is why I diverted mm -hmm. you into the revenue okay. conversation. So what's the total for fire department based on? Oh, that 10 is going to be this. Uh, Miles, are you okay with the 10? I'm okay with the 10. Okay. Good. So that's going to be the 12, right? Percent increase on fire? That hasn't um, changed on there. They are the 12%. That hasn't changed. Okay. So everything on there is what is what was proposed. Correct. Okay. It's on your sheet, correct. Okay. Yes. So um, can we have a motion to um, go forward with the fire? Uh, yeah. Oh, one move that, that we fund fire. At 145307. Okay. Second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Motion carried. All right. Now we can. Is there anything so, else? So, well, I just want to bring your attention to a few changes um, that I made. Um, we received, so we received a new avatar contract. Um, so line 50, I changed from the last version of this printout you received. Okay. So the 6,048 rep, um, represents the currently proposed 2020 avatar contract, at keeping steady at the 11 days that we currently have them. So oh, it, when, wasn't, it wasn't budgeted for appropriately. Well, so that's why it's such a big jump okay. from, that's just a note about why there's such a big jump from 2019 and we've we're like on. Um, we're set to overexpend it, and that's why. All right. So it's not as much of a jump as it appears to be. Okay. All right. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go and 
after you tell us all of them, we'll go down to the bottom line and improve the bottom line, which will okay. take care of all of those. Okay. If that's okay with everyone. Okay, so then it's insurance. So insurance, um, unemployment, workers' comp, are, are both under personnel administration. Um, those are reported to, they'll be coming in at slightly less, you see, than okay. what they were this year. Okay. Um, and then down um, past government buildings um, under insurance is the property liability, which is going up 2.1%. So those are actual quoted amounts now for next year. See that word? What, what, what number? Um, 104. Oh, yeah. Up 2.1. Okay. Is that all that? Th those are all the changes. That but, you made? Um, yeah. All right. The, uh, you said health insurance. That number is... So accurate. that number, um, I don't believe that's new to this sheet. I think you had that accurately reflected on the last sheet that you had, but... It does reflect the um, the six percent, um, not the six percent, the seven and a half percent we are planning on this year increase. Um, but it, then yeah, we, it went, then the we, rate went up seven and a half percent. But then we had some that we projected we're going to change and didn't, so we're bringing yeah, it up. We're getting rid of some of that. It's still going yeah. down yeah. overall yeah. because yeah. of that. Yes. Okay. This is the last it's one. just more, that line is more than what I originally was hoping it to be because I budgeted it with a 6% increase yep. at the current plan. Okay, so this, the, the increase in here now is what you've gotten from yes, them, it's so good. it's a good number. Okay. Yes. But it's still going down, which is a good thing. Right. Okay. Any other, okay, so... Um, and did dental disappear from here? Dental did not disappear. I did, um, perhaps I... Right. Okay. Under personnel administration, it's line 62. That number is 2614 right now, 2614. That reflects, and you see the note there, the full year is going to cost 3485. Mm -hmm. um, and that is if the employee and employer are to 50 50 split the cost okay. of that. I sent out surveys with mm -hmm. a flyer to that effect to employees. I have not heard back from them. Further, the numbers I'm using are last year's numbers. I'm not sure that last number, last year's numbers are accurate. I, I'm waiting for Health Trust to confirm that those numbers are good. Now, is there a minimum of people that have to be yes, in the program? Yes, we need six of the eight eligible people to six sign up. Six out of the eight. And we've had three people who have not okay. wanted to take it. So mm -hmm. we need one of those people to, change to move mind. over. Okay. And then everybody, you know. And did you give them a deadline for determination? I was hoping for today, but it wasn't written there. I said that to department heads. So, okay. you know, I'll follow up, I hope, by Monday. Okay. I can tell you for real. All right. So if, the, if less than six enroll, the cost will go up, or they, or we they are not, won't be able to? We are by law not allowed okay. to have yeah. it at So all. then it would just come out. It would be revised. By right. We can take it out entirely. Or, I mean, you can discuss it further and, you know, decide if you want to different funding option, but the short answer is it doesn't happen. Well, can you ask the reason why they're not, because it might be because they have it with somebody else. Well, they do all have it with somebody else. Ah. So the problem is, like, the, the last proposal was at the current, like, completely at the employee's expense. Mm -hmm. So this is now more enticing mm -hmm. that it would only be half their expense. Is that enough, given what the plan offers, mm -hmm. is that enough to move them over? Okay. From the other plan that the they other have plan that to this on. one, right? Okay, or have both, because they can do that too. They could. Um, they could. Okay. Can you? I do. I think oh, you really? can. Yeah, absolutely. Dental yeah. only. Yeah. You can have this. You can have three. Yeah. 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 So I have two different ones. <laughs> <laughs> so you submit one claim until you like expend the whole yeah. whole benefit. Yeah. Huh? Um, I think this is office that encourage you to do it. They, they do it on me too. Never. Because <laughs> it's reasonable. You couldn't do that with medical. Yeah, yeah. And the problem is your dental insurance, the benefits aren't good. Yeah. So you might as well spend a little extra money and then have more yeah. benefits. Especially yeah. if you have teeth that you should take back here. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. <laughs> soft teeth. Um, okay. Can we talk about road maintenance for yeah. a minute?
in there. Yep. Plus so, nine. Uh, one ninety. Uh, one ninety eight. One ninety eight. Yep. So this year we've spent roughly three twenty two of the three fifty. Mm -hmm. And part of that was engineering for the. It wasn't um, for the culvert on Sligo. No, yeah, it's that's... supplies and whatever for engineering, but no, that, well, we, that's your choice if you want it to hit that line. Okay. It's hitting the, it's hitting thought, the, culvert, the thought... culvert reserve. <coughs> oh, but, okay. but also know that the 322 that you're looking at is not entirely complete. They haven't fully graveled the new, the overlays that happened this year. They were waiting for the new truck, and then the new truck has been delayed and been yep. delayed, so now they're doing it manually. Um, so they haven't purchased all the gravel they need. It shouldn't go up by that much more, but okay. that's not a final. But their list. gravel is overspent. So should some of that have gone to the ma road maintenance? Because if you look at their gravel line, it's overspent. It is overexpended. Yes. Okay. Um, it depends on how you look at it. Okay. It could go in either. Okay. I mean, it's certainly even, road related. Even four thousand dollars more of gravel. Well, right. It's um, still yeah. under. Yes. Um, so I would propose we cut that to three twenty-five. Um, which would, which would bring us much closer to two percent overall, and then we could take some of the money that we've been unknowingly socking away um, to do. Because I know George wants to do sidewalks, and they are in absolutely terrible shape mm -hmm. um, from the motor vehicle surcharge. So if, if you Made that change to three. All right. So you want to move the budgeted amount to three twenty-five. Um, Reduce just, the budget to three twenty-five. Yeah, just to see what that. Right. Does. That's what I meant. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So that puts it down to seven point one percent on that line, um, and that makes it an even two percent increase on the whole budget. Okay. Um. This this um the expenses does that include all of the extra projects at the fire station and. Church Street and all of those mm -hmm. in here now? Mm -hmm. Cricket Lane. Nothing has happened on Cricket Lane, and I'm not sure they're going to get oh. to Cricket Lane this year, even though, okay. you know. But are all those invoices in there? Um, the, the, the fire station one is the big one that we would want to make sure, because that's $14,000. So another paving company that would not use. Right, so and so I would want to really sure check there. on that, okay. but otherwise I believe so. Um, but that that paving one is the only one I would want to, you know, because that, that's a fourteen thousand dollar error. Right, right on that. Right. The other ones were more our men's hours, and not a lot of material. Right. Correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, well, and they were going to do Church Street. They they were doing swales and stuff mm -hmm. on Church Church Street, and I'm sure that those aren't in yet. Okay. Those those. So I don't know that you know. I still think, like you say, it's going to be, you know, maybe like six thousand dollars more than that tops. Like I, I don't think it's going to be extraordinarily more than that, assuming that the parking lot I mean, is. But yeah, I mean, I agree that we should have an accurate depiction of what was spent, but, mm -hmm. um, but their suggestion was to finish Sligo, and the estimation was pretty much what it was going to what it was on the beginning. The right, it's going to be the same amount. Um, so that is much less than this, so that we would still be able to do that. And, and the overlay on... Oh, an overlay on Woodlands? Yes. Yeah. Heritage is done, right? Right. Yeah. So woodlands. So so it would cost approximately the same as what you did this year because the woodlands is about the same mileage as the Heritage Moses car. So it's that overlay. It's finishing Sligo, the overlay in the woodlands, and then he wanted to use the, you know, the bit of money beyond that still in the budget line to do sidewalks. Mm -hmm. But I think we could do what you're you're suggesting mm -hmm. um, and okay. still do that. Yeah, yeah I that's think. a good idea. Um, so if I just you, think it makes this number a lot more palatable. Mm -hmm. The bottom um, line. Yeah. yeah. If you want to make a motion, we can go forward with that. Um, all right, so I'll make a motion that we reduce road maintenance to 325000 All right, second. All right, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so our 198 is reduced by that. Um, 325. 325.
325,000. Okay. And what was the second part of the, what did you want to do about the sidewalks? And the so on the, on the revenue part, I don't know how exactly what the mechanism is to move. It's a warrant article to move um, it into, um, just to expend from that fund a certain amount of money okay. for a certain purpose, which I wouldn't, I would just say for roadway improvements, much like the roadway warrant articles used to say, but funded from that transportation reserve fund, and then you can speak to it at those public meetings about what you intend to do with those funds. Okay. So, by reducing this down, though, to well, by 25000 is there going to be room to do sidewalks? Probably. So, you can, you can make the Warren article all about sidewalks for that amount of money funded in that way, or you can, were the, or you can keep it at 350 and just have, were the Warren article so that it funds the operating budget for that amount of money. Or you could put sidewalk repairs as another line and have the money funded and there's no impact to the bottom line because your revenue well, is going to offset it, right? So then you have a line that says repairing sidewalks and then you have a warrant article for the revenue to pay for repairing the sidewalks. So it's a wash, it's not an impact to the budget. Only if the it's, line doesn't get passed, the yeah, warrant doesn't it, get passed, it, it, but then you don't do the job. Well, right, and for that reason, I wouldn't put it in the operating budget because... How can you spend money on something that you haven't approved? Well, because, because it's part of the operating budget. So when, you know, assuming it makes it through the budget committee and it's get on the ballot for the amount of money that you're proposing, mm -hmm. the whole thing is in there. You're raising and appropriating all that money. So... Um, but where is sidewalks here? That's my point. It's not in here. Well, it's it's part of road resurfacing. Road is viatic okay. ways, and and you can put you know you can put sidewalks in there. It's part of a road. It's considered part of a roadway. I and don't think you need to. Then call the warrant else. to remove the funds would only be to help support road maintenance line. So this is the intention of doing sidewalks, but you, in my opinion, you you can't really say it's going to pay for something you're not listing individually in the budget. It well, would be so then I think the better way to do that might be to have the warrant article say you're going to do sidewalks in the road maintenance. You know, and it's its own warrant article and not have it in the operating budget. If you list it in the operating budget, then you're raising the money via taxes and you may or may not have the offsetting revenue. So your warrant article would be to uh, have the sidewalks done for this amount and the revenue to come from this. And it's a one, and one, right. and it doesn't happen unless a warrant happens. Right. So you're, right. Not, you're going to increase it if the warrant passes because it's going to be then in your budget. No, well, no, no, no. It's not going to be in your budget. Well, oh, so it's going to be a capital. Right, okay. which means you are only spending the money on, on sidewalks, okay. or we have to be careful about and how we're wording it so that it offers you the flexibility mm -hmm. that you intend. Yep, okay. Yep, so I would be... The reduction the way this was bring it down to 325 and do the separate Warren article for the sidewalks. Does that make sense for everyone? Yeah, totally. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to add, um, since we have under there capital projects listed, I'm going to add um, sidewalks for, um, and then, and funded from, um, Funded from the Capital Reserve Fund. Okay. Um, and how much are you allocating 20, the 25 I, difference? I, or? I think that makes sense. I, I don't, I have no clue what. Yeah, I wouldn't have any idea, but I think that there's some real problems in a certain areas on Maine and to, to the road to the school and stuff. So it may take, mm -hmm. it may take that. So yeah, we can do whatever we can do yeah. that needs the most priority, and then if we after we can go back and do it the next year. Great. Okay. All right, so you want to make it 25? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have to get to the pharmacy in the next, I believe the next 10 minutes you think that's possible? Oh, I think so. <laughs> okay. I think so. I have to get into right. Dr. Dover at about 8. Yeah, close. We're, we're close to getting this. Right? We're close to getting this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nope, not so. <laughs> Not anymore. Kidding, kidding. <laughs>
anything else we want to talk about in the budget exactly. that we haven't already addressed? So you do need to, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be tonight, but keep the default budget on your radar. You do need yep. to vote on the bottom line of the deep, you know, and discuss and make sure you're on the same page about the default budget um, and revenues. Okay. So um, let's let's vote on the bottom total of the bottom operating budget. Just make sure that we didn't miss anything. Um, so what is the proposed for the operating budget I have two million four hundred forty nine thousand two hundred nineteen dollars. All right, which is which is an increase of forty seven thousand one forty one. Yeah. Which is two percent. Awesome. Very good. Two million four forty nine two seventeen. Which is an increase of forty seven one forty one. Two percent. So I'll make a motion that we fund the operating budget the two million four hundred forty nine thousand two hundred seventeen thousand dollars. Second. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Motion passed. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. So now the capital projects. Okay, so that was that's the stuff that's in the CIP, right? Well, it's not all in the CIP. Right. Um, sidewalks is not CIP. Yeah. Um, the land appraisal is funded by the Conservation Capital Reserve Fund, and then the town hall assessment, if you want to do that, would be by taxation. Okay. Um, now, what is um, what is your thoughts about? We had had Tamara from the um, conservation. Stating oh, that possibly right, right. we Thank you for that. should um, consider increasing our contribution to the conservation um, in hopes of trying to hold land to be getting sold to developers. Mm -hmm. Is that the five thousand? That's not the five thousand, right? That's what we're doing now. Not the five thousand I was mentioning. The five thousand I was mentioning is what we would pay on behalf of a landowner who was wanting to get a survey done, for example, right. to put something into conservation. So don't really have anything here. So there isn't anything listed, so right? I just to be added a line, different. Yeah. which you know it's already in the warrant. It's always something we've done year after year at ten thousand um, dollars. Oh, the conservation land trust fund. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what are your thoughts? I think it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's kind of a drop on the bucket, but um, it's, it's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's better than what we've been doing. Um, Do we want to make a recommendation on that? So we've always put 10,000 in. I don't know what always means, well, but recent, for recent, recent memory that I'm aware of, yes. So she was looking at more of... She suggested 25 to get people's attention mm -hmm. as a concert, conversation starter. But really, ultimately, much more than that in the following years. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be a tough sell for 25. Yeah, to be honest I, with you. I, I um, have the same thought. Um, maybe 15 or 20. I would support 15. Okay. Uh, we have to do, do baby steps. I think to, I think that would be that would be a real hard sell. But. Yeah. Well, you so the other also, side of it is... You can hear what the public has to say. And, and they can, can revise it in the deliberative session. Exactly. So, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a good point. All right, so... Um, so go with the recommendation of 25? Now I'd go with the 15. Oh, okay. And then they can put it to 25 if they choose to. Okay. Okay. I think making an effort to bring it up is... Yep. Um, so I'll make a motion that we increase that to, to be 15,000. Second all right. Um, we'll, go, we'll just go ahead because. Um, so all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. So we're changing that to the fifteen thousand. Okay. Motion passed. <clears throat> um, 
anything else on the topic projects that we have to discuss that we haven't already discussed? I'm not sure that the that the board has really decided that how you feel about um, an assessment of this building. I don't think we have a choice, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah. We got to make a decision of what we what we what we are going to do, and we can't make that decision unless we know what this building is. Space needs has to get going, and I know that I'm just thinking out straight. But um, so we need to we need to. I think we need to go forward with it and find out where our pros and cons are with this building and what it would take to make it work for everyone. If it's not building a new building for police, then they can, you know, work with what's downstairs, maybe add a little addition on the side or whatever, you know, to make it feasible. I don't know, but, you know, we just we need to know how much it's going to take to make this go to code. I, I truly believe that. Is this something we have to decide tonight? Or? No. Well, all right. So um, it's not part of CIP. Right. So next week, Wednesday, is CIP and Highway. Um, so no, but at the same time, any Warren article with money will ultimately need the budget committees. Um, but we're meeting Monday night, right? You are meeting Monday night, so Monday you can further discuss it Monday night. Um, but will you have a quote by then or no? I would anticipate not, okay. and, and I, you I, know, I, I don't know what I would, I know, like, it's another <laughs> yeah, shot in the I dark, know, like, um, because if it's 50 or 100, then we can't, then, then well, right. right, so, you know, it's probably going to be December by the time the yeah. budget committee is so, recommending or not, and maybe even January when they're, but at the same time, knowing what you intend will help the budget committee decide how they feel about your whole entire proposal, mm -hmm. so, yeah. You want to wait and think about it a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, so we can go ahead and go forward with what we've approved. Okay. And um, we can talk about it a little more on Monday on the on this building and see yeah. what we want to do. And what else? We don't have to do anything else, right? For this budget? So um, you can... Revenue yeah. still needs to get figured out. Okay. It can wait until Monday if you want to figure it out on Monday. And she has to get going, so. Wh what whatever you want to do. Are you okay with it, Miles? Yeah. Can you wait, fine. let's do it on Monday. All right, we'll, we'll do okay. revenues on Monday. Okay. All right. Awesome. Good work, everyone. Yes. Yeah, I was just going to make a oh. Yeah. All right, so we decided that we're going to um, think on this building, um, having the assessment Great. done on it, and uh, we'll talk about it on Monday's meeting, Fantastic. and then we'll do revenues on Monday's meeting. Cool. Okay. So, if everyone's all set with that, I have a motion to adjourn. Seconded. All right. All those in favor say aye. Aye. aye.